Alright, I got a box of fish in the mail today. Let's see what we got. Yeah, let's get them in the tank. Let's float over and get them acclimated. Yeah, these guys look to get awesome. a better look. Just right now, I can see the fish. Yeah, looks like they're all alive. I don't see any deaths. Yep, no DOAs. Good shipment. Yeah, so we ordered uh, 12, so 60. We're gonna have this order. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Okay, so because these are brackish, um, it's a little bit complicated. I, I don't wanna just dump them in the tank. Um, I wanna test the salute first um, that they came in. So um, I'll just dump, dump them in this dip and pour. I'm gonna have to drip after the line for my mud skippers. Oops. I sure hope so. Okay. All right, we just tested the salinity, and it looks like um it was shipped in uh, pure fresh water. There's it's not registering anything. Um, so I'm gonna I'm keeping them in um in a system that has a little bit um 0 0.014. So I'm probably gonna. Um, drip acclimate them at this point so let me get ready to do that all right we divided these um, pseudomugos out it turned out that they sent us four males and um, eight females so we both got two males and the rest females so um, let's start acclimating them Alright, this is a few days later and they have the males have colored up a bit. If you haven't known by now, um, these are Pseudomugo cyanodorsalis. And this species is actually a brachis species. Um, they can actually survive in freshwater as well. And in the wild, um, they prefer these um, muddy creeks. As you can see, the males um, have this neon blue back with um, yellow fins, and the females are quite plain. Um, these fish are best kept in groups um, as they spawn with uh, multiple males and females together. And um, the females will lay eggs on veget vegetation and the eggs will just stick on the plants so that's why I put in this spawning mop hopefully I can get some spawning action eventually so yeah it's a pretty fish and also what's good about these fish is um, I feed them some um, live baby brine and the live baby brine will survive in this brackish water for a lot longer than in fresh water. But I also feed them some flakes as well. Anyway, that's my new fish. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.